The theme for International Women's Day this year is Invest in Women, Accelerate Progress. However, research reveals a starker gender gap in data and all roles and all roles with only 23 to 26% occupied by women. Uh, this uh, imbalance is uh, it reflects uh, the ongoing trends uh, in South Africa's uh, job market where men continue to dominate across uh, various sectors. The quarterly labor force survey Q4 2023 indicates a lower workforce participation rate for women compared to men, highlighting the challenges a woman face in securing employment. For more on this, we're now joined by Gardeel Robertson, uh, who is a law at Boston City Campus and she joins us via our video link. Gardiel, thank you so much for joining us this evening here on SABC News and looking at that insert and just talking about uh, women leadership and the importance of uh, women leadership and maybe just tell us uh, about uh, you know the role uh, that women should be playing or are playing in leadership. So I think the most important thing about women in leadership is that it creates scope for diversity, especially in the role of artificial intelligence, which has risen so much over the years. The problem with um, AI in general is that it tends to, it's based on algorithms, which is based on how people are employed in the in the in the spectrum so as you've mentioned with only about 23 to 26 percent of that being occupied by men it obviously has a reflect on the ongoing trends in the south african job markets mm. so with um women being incorporated into these spheres and into these aspects it creates room for diversity which i think is the most important um, aspect of women leadership and why is it so important for women to participate in leadership roles? I think the the most important, like I said, the, the most important aspect there is the diversity. It creates a scope for creating a role for women to, it's, it's basically an empowerment role. It um, teaches people to view things from different perspectives. It gives you the opportunity to rewrite history to a large extent where women have been oppressed for a very long time and still suffer the consequences of the history. And to rewrite history, I think, is extremely important. And these leadership roles are essential for improving the gender wage gap, employment disparities, and all those type of aspects that have an effect on that. Mm, and looking at that data that shows AI roles, uh, especially for women, uh, being between 23 to 26%, I mean, where does it seem as if uh, we are lacking? Why can't we reach that benchmark uh, of uh, uh, the 50% uh, you know, uh, gender split there? So I think there it comes back down to investing in women. And I think the importance is when you look at how to invest in women, it's important to consider their lifestyles and their responsibilities. For example, by providing something like online education, which might provide flexibility when it comes to courses and admissions in order to accommodate women's busy lifestyles and with what women deal with on a daily basis. Another thing that could be implemented to deal with that pro problem is skills development initiatives. This could play a role in accelerating the progress on the gender parity. One could, for instance, implement workshops, training programs, all enhanced and all designed to enhance women's capabilities in emerging technologies. So by providing access to resources and fostering skills development, women can gain confidence and competence in fields such as technology, for instance, which will prepare them for success in any type of career. Mm, and would and you then, of course, another thing one could look at. Yeah. Sorry, you can continue. No. And then I just wanted to add on to that. Another thing that one should look at when it also bringing it back to leadership is the role of mentorship and networking. Mm. Um, mentorship programs obviously have the ability to connect women with experienced professionals in their chosen fields 
and establish supportive networks that can provide guidance, insights and valuable advice. And what would you say are the biggest challenges uh, being faced uh, by women, especially in leadership roles, especially when you look at uh, the technology space as well, seeming that's something that you're quite uh, passionate about. Um, when it comes to leadership roles in that sphere, uh, what would you say are the biggest challenges that women come across? So I think when, when we're talking about the aspect of technology and leadership roles, then um, one needs to consider that if women are not in leadership positions, AI technology is predominantly created from a male perspective, even with unconscious biases sifting through. So there is a lack of clear diversity and these diverse perspectives are crucial for identifying and mitigating biases effectively. Mm. Where do you think perhaps, uh, you know, uh, there needs to be an improvement for women leadership, uh, especially uh, to basically improve and uh, to make it a, a, an area or space that can inspire even the younger uh, girls to also take up leadership roles in uh, such things like AI? So I think the important thing here is once again, education, upskilling women and encouraging participation. So first and foremost, one would need to raise awareness of the potential benefits that technology may bring into leadership positions, um, potentially presenting tailored training programs, which address foundational skills and advanced skills, bringing forth digital access and digital education, which then comes back into drawing inclusive learning environments. So fostering inclusive educational settings that encourage women to participate actively in leadership positions. All right. Uh, and then a the last thing I'd like to add is just to foster women's entrepreneurship and engagement in innovation through the promotion of diversity in entrepreneurship. All right, uh, Gadiel, thank you so much uh, for your time and happy uh, International Women's Day uh, to you too as well. That is uh, Gadiel uh, Roberts. Uh, she is uh, a law educator at Boston City Campus.